Tina is telling the dogs that it's walk time and I can hear them freaking out. It's really cute. They always get so excited. They trump they just roll down the stairs. Just prrr. Yeah, I miss those doggos. They're so sweet. Now we have an entire out. This is our album uh, our second album request of the day. Uh A Boss says request the chariot one wing full album hey brad want to request one of my favorite metalcore albums of all time hold on let me record actually just in case request the chariot one wing uh a boss says hey just wanted to request one of my favorite metalcore albums of all time such a fun and powerful roller coaster that i feel like you might enjoy um okay the chariot one wing i don't know what this is uh, a lot of people are already leaving because they hear it's metalcore but honestly i don't know man there's some great metalcore stuff out there so I'm not just going to completely write it off. In fact, oh shit, look at this art. Yo, this art's cool as fuck. All right, I feel like this is already a good sign. And look at this, it looks cool. I'm hoping that I don't get something too angsty. I'm hoping that I get something that isn't just a uh, complete back and forth annoying gimmicks. Um, yeah, and honestly, with that being said, I think that's all I have is uh, I don't know this band. I'm not going to do too much deep diving and I just want to let the music speak for itself. So first song, forget. Oh, okay. Yo, triangle? Oh man, wait, that's good, hold on. Yo, these lyrics are really good too. Hold on, yo, wait. Oh, yo, this is a good start. Wait, yo, this is, this is a really good start. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, wait, okay. Dude, I fucking knew it. I saw the sound cover, I was like, this looks cool. Please don't be angsty garbage, and it's not. This is awesome. It kicks hard. It's really creative in terms of the structuring, almost like like how grindcore in a way. Um, I don't know grindcore. I guess just hardcore. I'll say just like um, like what is it? Post hardcore. I, my my genres are a little mixed up here, but the way it's going about this is smart. So creative structure. It's not really delving into the annoying cliches that I'm used to from this uh, genre. And I gotta say this 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 really kicks. I'm I'm. I'm stunned. This is so good. Okay, next song. Not, uh, so, uh, Smiley Ball. Oh my. Oh, that was good. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. This is exactly what I was hoping for. I hear, oh, Metalcore album. Is, hopefully, it's not going to be like fucking. And it's not. And it's actually good because it goes hard, has a strong understanding of what it needs to be doing. And it hits. It hits like a truck. Would you rate? Uh, how would you rate bootleg? Don't need your help out of. T <laughs> I have no idea. Neil Lozenge, you talking to me? Maybe. Uh, or are you talking to, about the music? I was sick. Uh, going on my headbangers playlist, dude. That literally, like, I was waiting for it to screw up, and it never did. It was just so solid all the way through. Next song, not. Really good. Sounds really good. <laughs> this is actually good. I'm, I'm shocked. This is this is really cool. Okay, this is a good way of going about this. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Oh, this is actually a good book of change of Yo! Oh, wow. Damn. That was possibly even better than the first one. Smiley Ball. This is starting off incredible. The aesthetic is unbelievable. It's thick as all hell. Uh, the vocals are passionate. I think that the lyrics are, are stunning. I mean, wow, this is actually so good. 
It came out 2012, too. Damn. Wow. Why is this so good? Like, it's so rare that I listen to something that's, like, post-hardcore, metalcore that's, like, not dog shit. Like, you don't even understand. That, that like, is like this where it does nothing wrong. And just, like, is so tightly woven with everything you would want from this. I mean, it hits. It's, like, I, I feel like it's it's washing over me, dude. Amazing. Let's keep it going. Next song, Your. Busy, busy bee. What if we don't wake up? Fergie feature. This is amazing. Smiley ball. Oh my god, that was perfect. That worked so well. Oh my god. Next song first. This is so good. Oh, it's demonic. Fuck all you hoes! Detroit till I die, motherfucker! I'm in that country now, motherfucker. Yeehaw. I'm in the Wild West. Yeah. I'm with Kanye West. Yeah. She slept. What an interesting change. Oh my god. Literal whip. Just taking the piss out of it now. First is an extremely creative song that takes such an interesting twist. I don't even know if it makes sense or not, but I like it. Smiley ball for me. I think that it, it keeps the album feeling unpredictable in a genre that is so unreasonably predictable all the fucking time. Um, yeah, that was that was exciting. Wow, that, that was that was good. All right, next song, love. So I don't think love is my favorite on this. I, I feel like it's one of the least like overall satisfying songs, um, though it has some of my favorite moments. It's not the ball. Next song is Speak. Father, speak to your kids right now, to the prince of hope is only around right now. Prisoners of love, forgive them.
Well, it's not as immediate or as... Um, I'll say it's not... Like, it feels like it's stripping everything back to just give a very passionate performance, and I think it works in that regard. It's a light, smiley ball. I don't think it's one of the best songs here. I, I definitely think it's a powerful track regardless. I just can't really tell whether or not I'd want to return to this one specifically. I don't really think it ruins the vibe. It it's just sort of a... It it's different, you know? It's different, and I feel like, while I enjoyed it, I'm still a bit uh, unsure about my thoughts on this one. And the day bleeds. Next song in. We can't let this be us. But we'll take you on time. I gotta make the rest. Double <laughs> clip. I'm shaking off the work it out. Very literal but dangerous drill music. Shaking off the work it out. Very end. So good. Dillinger Dentistry Plan. Here's the thing. Dillinger Escape Plan is great. I'm okay with more Dillinger Escape Plan. They're one of the few acts that actually do it right. You know? It's maybe one of the reasons I fuck with this so hard. Smile the ball. I like it. Hard as shit. Did I already hit smile the ball? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Yeah, no, I, I really like that. I like the lyrics on these. Is I feel like they're just very punchy and extreme statements that just work very, very well. You know, they, they hit, they feel kind of absurd, and at the same time, it's just very, I don't know, it's, it's just satisfying. Next song, Tongues. <laughs> Oh, everything is so diverse throughout this album, too, you know? It's not just one trick pony bullshit, you know? I love that. Oh my god. Shit, man, this is good! Yo, this is so good. <laughs> Hey! Oh, I'm smiling so hard. Oh! So good! You're so fucking crazy! Shit! Oh! Bro, this is insane. Oh, the piano. That's a nice way of calming it down. Oh my god. These guys disbanded? Oh no. I think Tongues is the best song so far. It's a strong smiley ball, and I think it's the one song on the sound that I feel like has gone above and beyond. Everything about it is good. Everything sounds great. It's the most intense sounding. It had me smiling from ear to ear. This is exactly what the fuck I want from this genre. I am so happy. I'm so happy that this album is actually good. Like, I was sent to an album recently that was, like, metalcore, but it was very theatrical, and it, like, I literally got basically nothing from it, and I felt very embarrassed by the entire experience. This is so fucking good. I mean, this is so good. It is up my alley. It is well made, but it also, it's, it just understands what real fucking dopamine is, you know what I mean? To, like, the people who are, <laughs> who have listened to too much shit. I love it. It's sludgy, yeah. It's nasty, you know? It's it's diverse in a way where it's like, all right, we understand fundamentals on not, how not to be corny as shit. Next song, Ann. Oh, 
like and, but I don't love and. I, I don't think it's one of the most interesting here. I just think it's fine. It's a light smile of one. I, it's just a lot less focused than some of the other ones. Not as strong aesthetically. Just, it's fine. Final song, Cheek. I worked my whole life for this. I mean, I've seen so many roadblocks. So many devils in my way. But to be honest with you, I see nobody. I am the best. I'm sorry. But I don't want to be a member. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. In this world, there's room for everyone. The good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical. Our cleverness hard and unkind. More than cleverness, we Charles. need kindness. Charles. Charles. On the Without beat. these qualities, life will be violent. And all will be lost. Cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. I swear. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful. But they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves. But they enslave the people. A world where science and progress Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! With the city in your eyes, and of nothing's left, my point is, stop it and I am, this is yours! She felt like a really uninteresting closer that just doesn't fucking work. It's a low shrug for me. I think it's by far the worst on the album. Feels like sitting through a history lesson on something you don't really give a shit about. Feels like it literally lasts forever. Um, yeah, and I thought that was honestly just a really dull note to end it off. Uh, that being said, though, it's a good ass album. Not bad. One of the best metalcore albums I've heard in a long time, honestly. Uh, it's rare that I actually listen to metalcore and go, wow. That was an overall positive experience. Um, that ending, I think, was just not there for me. I, I just don't really feel like it, it did a good job at making me give a shit. Maybe it's just because I don't want to sit through three and a half minutes of uh, a speech at all in an album like this. And then the finish just wasn't strong at all. Um, for me, this album is a strong 7 to a light 8. I think it's great. <laughs> I think it's nice. I'm going to write my review real quick. One of the best metalcore albums I've heard in a minute. It avoids every bad cliche that the genre falls victim to and instead feels loose, diverse, and wild. It's worth a listen. Not bad. Uh, yeah, so I give it my stamp of approval. Thank you so much, A Boss, for sending that in. I really enjoyed that for helping me discover a metalcore album that doesn't suck. It's been a while since I've like listened to something in full that really, uh, I really fuck with. How does someone get Deftones from this? I don't know, man. I don't know why everyone gets Deftones from everything. Anyways, yeah. I thought that was amazing. So, absolutely appreciate that. Uh, and thank you, everyone on YouTube, for watching if I ever do anything with this. Which, again, no problems. I mean, if this had a strong ending, it would easily be. This is because how he skips the words periodically? What are you talking about? Oh, Deftones, yeah. All right, we have, uh, what is this? We have 30 minutes on the queue, and I'm debating whether or not to close it. Let me think about it real quick. Um, <sighs> I mean, I was planning on literally canceling the stream today, you know what I mean? I feel like the fact that we got this far is pretty good. I'm having fun, you know what I mean? When I'm having fun, I don't want it to stop. 